Okay, so we're doing the saddle stitching. Needle in one side. I do two at a time. Two holes at a time. I go on one side, out the other, then bring the other needle in. Through that side, out the other. Pull it tight. Be careful on how tight you pull it, especially with floppy leather like this. Um, it depends on how scrunched up or how flat you want it. The tighter you pull it, the more scrunched up your leather is going to be. And on these lifts, you don't necessarily want it too, too tight. You just want it nice and snug so you get a nice flat fold over piece. And I'll come back when we're going to tie this up. Okay, so we're, we are at the very last hole here. I already have this other one done, and I wanted to show you how I tie these knots so you get a nice clean stitching seam and you don't see anything. Um, I'm not sure how well you guys can see this. I know my camera is not all that great. I am at the very last hole. Very last hole. Now this is the front part we're going to see. I'm going to take this, the needle in the back, run it through the second hole back out. Pull that through, take the needles off. And what I'm going to do is just tie a simple square knot. Get it fairly tight, not too tight. Tie that. And then what I'm going to do is cut, cut that stitching right there. We're going to feed it back through the needle. Sorry, I hear something. Okay, so I'm going to feed this back through the second hole. And then we're going to pull the knot into the hole the best you can. Try not to pull it all the way back. And then the other side, we're going to snip it. And we're just going to burn the ends down a little bit, push it down. And then on this side, you really don't see anything at all. Now the reason I fed it back through the second hole, not the last one, the last hole we still are going to be using those holes. We're going to have to restitch when we do these together. So we don't, we don't want a knot in that hole. So that's why you feed it back in that second hole right there. Um, so as far as these lips go, you know, you could have folded them the other way if you wanted to. Uh, you can use different colored stitching. Uh, I'm just doing this the way I normally do, uh, just to give you guys an idea. We'll go over that at the end of the video. Uh, so both of these lips are done. Let's see if I can bring this around and show you. Sorry, I'm not getting very good light over here. All right, maybe I'll cut that part out. Okay, so now what we're going to do, excuse me, now what we're going to do, we've got the lip, there we go, now you can see it. There's the lip folded over. Now those two holes, trying to get that back on the light where you can see it. The lip that was folded over, like I said, was the first hole, the second hole. Now that that's folded over, these two middle ones, the second and the third, are actually at the top. Those holes are actually right about he here, <laughs> right about there. So that's actually now, so you've got, if I can stick that in there, let's see where it is. I'm go through the back here. There we go. See? The, the second and third hole have now become the top hole on both sides, over here, over here, on both pieces. So now what we're going to do is we're going to stitch just this together inside out, just like this. You want the, out, the inside, you want them facing out. We're going to start on the second hole. We're going to start the second hole right there, then go up to the first, and then go down. Same saddle stitching. And uh, I'll, I can't hold, I can't, uh, do the camera and the stitching at the same time, so I'm going to start a little bit and then I'll come back and show you. Okay, so we started on the second hole, we went up to the first, and then I've gone down, I don't know, five or six, whatever, saddle stitching. Oh, if you're going to use the exact template, 
make this exact one. I cut for the, for stitching these two together. I used about five or six feet of stitching just to be on the safe side. And this is what it's looking like once you start stitching it together inside out. Do the saddle stitch all the way around. One needle that way, one needle that way. And when I'm doing this, I like to scrunch this fairly tight to get a really nice seam. The tighter you scrunch it, or the, the more you tighten it, the more the leather is going to scrunch up. And for me personally, I like a little bit of that on this seam of the two pieces together. So that way you have a nice tight seam once, uh, once we're done and we turn it right side out. You don't want to see any of the stitching in the seam. So, all right, I'll be back. All right, so we have stitched up both sides. A little dirty. Uh, so when I got to the end, the last hole, I tied it the exact same way I did the other one. Uh, pull one, tie it with a square knot, put a needle on it, uh, run it back through the second hole, pull the knot through, cut it, melt the, uh, the stitching. And so we're ready. So now the fun part is turning this thing inside out, which I don't know if I've made a pouch with this leather before. It doesn't seem to be too difficult. And after all that stitching and stuff, this is where the fun part happens. Cause this is where you realize you actually have a really good pouch because you can't even turn it right side out. It's pretty tough. Really good quality is what I mean. Alright, so here is the pouch all uh, turned right side out. And if you notice, there is the lips since we stitched it inside out. When you turn it right side out, that's the lips. You get a nice, nice lip on here. Really nice seams. We've got the holes for the lanyard. And when you kind of flatten this out, you can see how the pouch is almost perfectly... Um, how do I say it's square which is why I made the template angle in like that so when it's done you can see how it's almost straight and you can get your hand in there just nice so now we're going to make the lanyard and get a toggle going and I will be back with that alright so we're gonna hook up the toggle we're gonna hook up a lace and a toggle to this Oh, what was this about two feet? Sorry, I talked to myself. Uh, I'm going to use Latigo lace. Um, very, very strong leather lacing. Uh, black to match the uh, pouch. Uh, it's a couple bucks. Tandy leather. I don't know, three, four, five bucks. There is four yards. Was it 12 feet on here? And so I cut out a piece. I think this is about two feet. It's about two feet. And for the toggle, I'm going to use this little antler. Uh, from a deer antler, I just cut it, drill a hole in it, sanded it up real quick. Nothing special. Uh, so before we do that, I'm going to use leather conditioner on this lace. It's very strong, but it's very rough. And what we're going to do is we're going to condition this to make it nice and slick so it'll uh, move freely through these holes. Um, so we'll go ahead and do that real quick. Alright, so I'm going to use that same stuff, the EcoFlow Professional Cream. And this is very simple. It's got a plastic top on it. Well, now what I do is I just wrap this up in a kind of a circle and I'm just going to kind of dip the whole thing in there with my hands and then start working it into the lace real good and just go up and down like this with your hands back and forth get it in there real good and then we're going to let it dry and then wipe off the excess and that's it now I can't turn the camera off because I got crap all over my hands see, see what you maybe do So here's our two feet of lace. It is we wiped it with we wiped it with the leather conditioner and it dried. 
we just wiped it off the excess. Now I'm going to take the scissors and I'm going to cut the tips of the lace at just a slight angle. And we're going to feed this through all the feed this through. Um, the nice thing about these pouches and leather work, you can make these however you want. You guys don't obviously don't have to use Latigo leather lace. You guys can actually use the same. If I can get this in the hole, there we go. You guys can use the same leather material. This this is Kodiak cowhide. You can use the same stuff for the lace. You can cut out a strip of that, make these lanyard holes bigger. Um, you can use paracord. You can use those plastic backpack clips for the uh, toggle. They sell those at Walmart. It's like 50 cents for like four of them, so they're very, very economical, cheap. Uh, cheap is right, but and the toggle, I mean, what will be the lace going through? So let's see if I can even this out. See if I can get both of these through the uh, through the uh, antler. It's nice and snug. Maybe too snug. Didn't I haven't even tested the fit of this. Where's my pliers? right here I'm just going to tie just a quick little knot just so that your uh, toggle doesn't fall off shouldn't fall off but I'll take a couple pictures of this and uh, post this at the end of the video There you go. That's pretty much it. Um, you know, the nice thing about these, these are great for outdoor bushcraft camping. Um, you know, just to go over a few things, this is the template. You can copy that at the beginning of the video. You know, you guys, if, if you want to use my template, feel free. It's not like I invented possible pouches, so. Um, you know the great thing about these you can make them however you want you know I got this brown one right here you can put a, a veg tan patch on there if you want you can use brown you can use lacy whatever toggle you can even the lip I fold over the inside out you can fold it in if you don't like having the outside like that I really like that that's why I do it um, but you know, just showing you one method, if you're just starting out and with leather work, this is a really good project to start. Um, uh, it's not only is it a good project to start off on, this is, you're making a completely functional item. I mean, you can, there's just endless uses. If you can't figure out what to use it for, give it to your kids. I'm sure they'll have fun with it. I've given my kids so many pouches, they love it. Um, so there you go. I'll take some nice pictures and post this. Uh, any questions or comments, feel free. But uh, that's it. There we go. Thanks for watching, guys. And you have a good one out there.